Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again today with another action figure toy review. We're looking at the DC Universe Classic Series today. Again, going with Wave 6 to complete our Calibac Collect and Connect figure. Today we have Shazam. Very cool looking figure. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and open this thing up and uh, do a quick review of the figure itself and pull out the Collect and Connect piece and uh, set it to the side so we can build Calibac here in a little while. So here we have Shazam in the package. It's a uh, traditional DC Universe Classics packaging, so nothing really interesting to point out here, other than the fact that he's in the pose that he's in. So it's Shazam. All the other stuff that comes in that wave, get all the five figures, and you can make Calibac, which uh, we are hoping to do very soon. So yeah, let's uh, open this thing up. Always cut away from you so you don't uh, cut yourself is what they always say. But. There we go. Shazam and the throwaway packaging. A very cool pose. But now this is uh, recycling. Shazam! So what we have here is the Collect and Connect piece, which is the uh, left leg of Calibac. We'll add that to our parts bin so that when we get the other pieces, we can uh, put it together. So, And now we have Shazam. He's got his standard uh, plastic cape, which is kind of sticking out of the back here through a hole in the plastic. And there are these two little plastic uh, rubber bands that have to be cut. So we'll cut them, and that's pretty much another one up here at the top. So on his wrist, he has another one. So cut that, and we're ready to free him from the plastic. I usually start with the feet simply because it's usually the easiest thing to grab a hold of. Pull the feet out first. And then you can uh, pull off those little plastic bands while you're at it. And grab his wrists. One wrist, two wrists. Then uh, he pulls right out at that point. More recycling bin material. And now we have Free from the plastic prison, as soon as we get this uh, plastic stuff off of him, Shazam! No accessories other than the collect and connect pieces, but that's uh, pretty typical for the DC Classics line, so nothing unexpected. So we'll go ahead and zoom in real close and uh, take a look at the figure itself. So here is the figure itself. It has a the uh, pretty much the traditional sculpt that we are used to with most of the bucks. It has a little bit new sculpting here. The way his shirt connects and he's not as ripped ab-wise as like Superman or somebody like that. But uh, overall it's uh, pretty much the same as what we're used to with all the other figures. So uh, nothing special to point out. 
as far as the figure itself goes pretty nice the uh, cape is kind of connected in here with these little two points things on the back here you can see a nice little I don't know it reminds me of one of those uh, bullfighter capes I don't know if that's what they meant to do or not but uh, that's what he looks like to me as a bullfighter I think that's funny so articulation wise standard articulation head swivels all the way around he has movement up and down as well uh, shoulder articulation is the same as we're used to so I don't know if I should point out all of those or not but uh, nothing special here uh, ab crunch is pretty loose actually but uh, does function as we really anticipate um, waist twist works fine standard hip joints the uh, swivel at the lower thigh standard knee joint then the boots have only the ankle rocker on them so yeah pretty typical for the DCU line that we are used to seeing so if you don't like it then you probably won't have liked any of them so far so uh, that's pretty much it uh, there is a nice little bit of faint shading here with the black on the red to kind of uh, highlight some of the muscle groups here which is pretty nice same thing down on the legs there's just a little faint highlighting done and then on the the boots themselves there's a bit of like an orange going on right there on top of the yellow which uh, does make it stand out a little bit more but um, they did not carry it through onto the bottom of the boots as much so it does look a little awkward but nothing too spectacular so let's uh, zoom in a little bit more and uh, give you a little bit of a closer look here if we can so now that we're zoomed in a little bit more you can see some of what we're talking about as far as the highlighting goes not a lot going on it's very subtle but there is some decent amount of highlights going on here uh, moving on down you can see it a little bit more here in the legs and then down here with the boots you can kind of see the orange highlights but uh, then he hit his actual feet itself and there's nothing really going on there so very good representation of Shazam flip them over so you can see the back here pretty nice again it looks like a bullfighter's cape but it's Shazam so it's pretty cool. Uh, nothing special about it. Nothing particularly interesting other than uh, if you're a Shazam fan, you will want this definitely. Uh, but if you're just looking for collections-wise, I don't really see much point in getting it other than if you need the Collect and Connect pieces. But it's Shazam. It's pretty cool. So. That's it for our review for the DC Classics release of Shazam. Overall, it's a great representation of the character. Um, it's a little bland, a little plain, doesn't do much for me. It's a cool figure, cool character, but yeah, I would probably say, unless you're just a huge Shazam figure or Shazam fan, not much point in picking this up unless you need the Collect and Connect piece. But it's... You know, it's a DC Classics figure. Uh, you should know what to expect out of it. If you like that series, this is perfectly a great character to pick up. Um, if you're not a Classics collector, then I'd say probably skip it. But it's going to stay in my collection anyway. So that's pretty much all the time we've got for today. So thanks for watching. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think about this figure. If you like to see some specifics for later episodes, let us know as well. And um, I guess that's it. So, till next time, happy hunting.